The first time God spoke to me, I was six years old. I heard my name called Ben, and I was just outside watching some ants like do their thing, and I thought it was my neighbor next door, Carl. I looked around and couldn't see him. Then I heard my name called again, Ben. I realized it was God. He said, Ben, how much of your life will you give me? I decided that I'd give him 95% of my life and I'd keep 5% for, I don't know, a backup plan. On my 18th birthday, I was sitting in the woods alone because I got the day off and everyone else had to work. And, and that was when God decided to ask me the same question again. And he said, Ben, how much of your life will you give me? I went to the States to a, a Bible school. My week or two into being there at Bethel, I got a call from my dad. Um, and he said, they found her clothes on the beach in a letter. And she's dead. She killed herself. Um, that was my youth pastor. Two weeks later, I got another call from my dad and he said, um, you know that man you were praying for, um, he, he also just killed himself and his funeral's on Thursday. Um, Two people that I loved and were in my world um, were suddenly gone and it was really hard. It was about seven years of not being able to spend time with God because I was just so, there was so much pain there. I was, dying inside and had this huge war that I didn't know how to fix. One night when I was being vulnerable with some close friends and after dinner and after telling the story of when God disappeared for me and that pain, my friend asked, Ben, have you ever asked him where he was when that happened? When you felt like he disappeared? Have you ever asked him, like, where were you? I asked him and immediately I saw a vision open up in front of me and I saw this glass box which was around my bed and my room and it was thick glass and God was beating himself against it, trying to get my attention and falling down on the ground in pain. And I just started to laugh because I could see that he cared as much, if not more, than I did about the connection that we lost that day. And that was a real turning point, <laughs> yeah. Now we help people who are dealing with mental illness and often want to end their lives, have multiple personality disorders from the trauma of their childhoods and, or who just don't know where the heck God went and want to find him again. And it's such a pleasure to um, be able to bring people into the presence of God and for them to get it from straight from him, um, what's going on. Humility lets God have the ultimate say and define your narrative of your life so that you can be free. Um, you know, he said, we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. And 
Freedom looks like being able to remain present with joy, to be able to remain present with pain, and to feel his nearness in all of it, the pain and the joy.